Okay. Uh, this is Vince uh, with Listings Leads, and we're going to talk today about Listings Leads, how it's going to work for your office. And I was just saying to Barbie um, that we're going to have two calls. This will be like Facebook domination, uh, Facebook seller lead gen, and, and buyer lead gen. And then the next call will be sort of like how to use all the rest of the tools to market your listings. And I will go over those real quickly in a little bit, but I want you to kind of know what's what's here now and how to think about this. Right here on the homepage, now you all have IDs and passwords. You should be logging in up here at the top right where it says login. Don't create a free trial, otherwise you just create trouble for yourself. And right here, it's there's actually, if you come to our homepage, uh, it can look a couple ways. You can see all of the tools that we automatically generate. And if I move this arrow over, I see these little boxes here. I'm going to click on one and show it to you. Because when it comes to Facebook advertising, one of the uh, things that happens that most people are coming to us for is something like this, a property valuation page. So we're going to talk about where these are in your account, how to get them, how to customize them, how they work, and then how to put them on Facebook. Okay. So what I would like, because I'm kind of hearing some background uh, uh, noise, if you could put yourself on mute, that would be great. And Barbie, if you have questions or if any of you have questions at any time, just jump in and, and just say, hey, you know, what about this? What about that? So before we get in, I want to kind of point out a couple things. Um, when you come to our homepage, you could scroll down. Okay. And when you scroll down, we have a blog here and, and we put a lot of information here, but I want you to see this one article right here. It says 31 seller leads in two days, 27 seller leads in 12 hours, 12 buyer leads, 24 hours. That is a blog post and, and we have a group that I'm going to talk to you about in just a bit here. It's our mastermind group and our clients go in there and share across the country. They're sharing with us what's working, right? And, and I want to point this out to you because we're going to actually run a couple of ads on Facebook in this call. And you're going to see that that's actually a really simple thing to do. Click this button here, click this here, type this here. It's not that difficult. But for you to get a lot of leads out of it requires that you put a little bit of thought into two major areas, the language here and the picture here. And I'm going to tell you how to customize that. But this right here is a great, it's this language, I don't know if you can see it, it says 360 homes sold in Frisco in June. The highest was 965. Now see what your home is worth free. Okay. That's what the ad looks like. That's what consumers are seeing. And that's what's click, getting clicked on over the course of a weekend. And 31 seller leads came in over the course of the weekend. Okay. One other thing to point out here, and I'm pointing this out because I'm, I'm hoping you're going to look at this on your own. These ads were run on a community page. Okay, not a biz, not a, a brand, not a business page on Facebook. There's a couple of other examples. Sorry, my screen seems to be jumping around down here. Then there's another thing here. This is a totally different guy. Um, he had a lot of leads. I don't know how long you've all been realtors. I don't know if you're sitting on a whole database of email addresses, but a client of ours found a tool here that we've designed for all of our clients and you have access to it too. And it's a home sold near you report. Okay, I'm going to click on this picture here. This is generated at the click of a button in your system. All you control or all you need to uh, customize is just the first top couple paragraphs. So you're going to be able to find out somewhere what's going on. Are numbers moving up? Are they staying flat? Give them a little detail. And then everything else is pre-written. And you're going to notice that we've got get your home value here, seem homes for sale here. And then also uh, your reviews, if you have reviews on Zillow. All of these pages, if you click on any of these, are designed to capture leads for you. So this is kind of a quick market report. It would also have your signature at the bottom. Um, this is our signature bar, which is actually part of the listings to leads, but it's also on the bottom of this letter. So this letter ends with your, your banner from your office has your picture and phone number here, but then these links here are called lead gen links and they actually point to your website. Okay. So the point of that is if you've got some emails and you're wondering what should I send to these people to get some, some value to them and some value to me, send them this letter because built into it is just home valuation tools and all kinds of seller lead capture tools. So 
use those when you can um, and I'll show you where to access them. Remember, they're on this blog post and that blog post is found before you even log into listings to leads. It's at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to log in now. In the beginning of this, you're going to kind of wonder what in the world I'm doing, but I'm actually trying to show you where the resources are so that when we get off this call together, you know where to go to kind of like pick up, right? You, you may remember half of what I say, you may not. Um, so this page here on the front is usually here. You can sign up for our live training classes. We got a really interesting webinar here with Neil Wolf, who's a client of ours uh, down in Naples and generating a ton of leads from Craigslist of all things. Um, and so that we show how to do that there. So I mentioned our mastermind group uh, because of that blog post. Right here is a big, big blue button. Click that button. It will take you to Facebook. And over here on the right will be a button that says click to join. Click that and then Scott or myself will add you to the group. Okay. Right here is another button that says Facebook advertising. And this is a good place to go. It's We're going to cover a lot of this, but like I said, you'll probably forget a little bit of this. And if you just want to take your time and go over this, you can come here. This link here, number two, shows you how to run an ad in two minutes. Like I said, we're going to run a couple of ads together. A couple of recorded webinars about Facebook here. And a really good tutorial right here to show you the things that work with it. Okay. Um, again, that is the Facebook advertising button right there. So... Let me tell you a couple things about Facebook and then we'll kind of, uh, we'll dive into it. One, and I don't know if everybody there uses Facebook. There are probably some people in that room that feel like I hate Facebook, right? I mean, I, I hear that. <laughs> There's too many people wasting time and this and that. But what you should know, this little site here is telling us the top sites in the country as of about five seconds. And Facebook is number three, okay? Now, Google is number one, and you can use these tools in combination with pay-per-click on Google. It is more expensive, um, and we get such awesome results from Facebook that that's why we focus on it. YouTube, we auto-post your listings to YouTube. No lead generation on YouTube, but it's good to say that you're on there. It's number two website, good SEO, stuff like that. But Facebook is the number two or number three website in the country, and on average... And you should know this about Facebook. Set over 70% of American adults are on Facebook today. And on average, they spend 50 minutes every day there. Okay. And that's why we definitely want our clients to know how to dominate it, how to use our tools in conjunction with it so that you can get more, more leads, right? The more leads you have or, or getting your homes out there, people are going to see you're a realtor. And that's really the whole, the whole point of what we're doing. So, I'm going to click on the listings tab up here. I don't know if you've logged into your account yet, but we have your listings. And even if you borrow listings and put them in here, you'll have all these tools automatically created and most of them are emailed to you. But there are two tools that we want you to think of in building a brand. And I want you to think of this in terms of Facebook because people come to us for property valuation landing pages. It's a very kind of popular theme in real estate advertising today. Um, and they're, we're not the only company that does it, right? There's bold leads and prime seller and home value and curator and the list just keeps going. Um, and they all sort of charge some number for this and, and it's always more expensive than us. But the point is they just give you that one tool and what they're not teaching anybody is that if you actually build a brand on Facebook and let the consumers know that you're a realtor, that same activity of putting a property valuation page up there is going to get you higher results, better lead quality and better um, and a higher volume of leads. So, uh, Barbie, just an aside and for all of you, uh, there is some background noise, so I just muted all of you. If you have a question, just put it in the chat panel and I will get uh, I will address it. So what I'm trying to tell you is remember you got to build a brand i'm going to show you how to build a brand and then run the property valuation stuff so the two tools to build a brand are on the listings page they're the single property website you can access it by clicking the red button with a white house and the single property website is obviously going to show the home that you have right 
It could even be an open house that you're holding for somebody else. It could be coming soon. It could be just listed. It could be uh, under contract. It could be um, just sold. And these are all tool. And, and this banner changes based on the status. Give me just one second here. I got a, a fan going to the background. Give me one second. Sorry about that. So I'll show you how to change that status. But the point is you want to get a tool in front of people to say you're a realtor. And, and on Facebook, this is probably not new to, to many of you, right? I, I see realtors put all kinds of wacky stuff on, on Facebook. Most of it cannot generate a lead, right? Most of it just, it, it's maybe you put a link to Zillow and you're sending traffic and leads to Zillow. Maybe you put a link to YouTube and, and if anybody clicks on it, they can't get back to you anyway. So this is why we're telling our clients this is one of the top tools to use because I don't know if you know notice but there was a lead capture form that looked like this follow this home and this obviously when somebody fills it out the lead gets mail, emailed to you they can also schedule a showing and this is kind of you know basic uh, you know real estate marketing stuff but that would get sent to you and these links here can point to your website right and those are lead generation links that's that's kind of that's going to be on our second call those are designed to go right to your website um, so that you can get people, if they're not interested in buying this particular home, at least they can get to your website and look at more homes and ideally become a lead there. But this is one of the tools that we recommend that you use to brand, to just let people know that you're a realtor. An ad like that costs about 20 bucks. Okay, I'll show you where you put, uh, how you manage your, your budget and stuff like that. But that's, I'll show you how to run the ad with that. Over here is the second tool. And if you see this Facebook icon here, don't be confused. It's the next icon that says listing landing page. And the listing landing page, if you click on it, is another way to show the home, but just in a totally different view. And these are the two tools that we like our clients to, to go between. As you get used to our system, you realize there are many tools and you can use all of them with Facebook and, and with any marketing strategy. But these are two just to build a brand because this one looks good. It's mobile responsive. And if they want more information on this home, all they have to do is give you their contact information. And when you do, let me do this and, and show it to you. And let's see here. When somebody fills this out, it, the page kind of flips around and says, thank you. And then it drops them on the single property website. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see it. I got a lead over here in my mailbox. And that's kind of the point. So you can either drive them, you can either put a single property website right in front of the folks and they have more information to click around. Or if you want, you can drive them to the other page. They're still going to end up on the single property website. You, you should mix it up because they have a different look and feel and that's really part of the point of building a brand is that you're doing different things in front of the market. So that's what we would want you to use to build the brand. I'll show you what to do with it in a minute. But over here on the top is a tab that says landing pages. Okay, And landing pages are really, they've become very powerful combined with marketing. They're different from websites, but they are basically a single two or three page website. And it's designed to, uh, you know, get a consumer to give you their contact information in return for some information that they want, right? And you can sort of imagine a free list of foreclosures. Yeah, that's, you, you know what they're after. Fizbo's, this is a, a page designed for Fizbo's. You can find Fizbo's on Zillow and Trulia. Uh, I'm not Zillow and Trulia, Zillow and Craigslist. And if you can get this landing page in front of them, it says, hey, would you like some free marketing and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then over here are the ones that are getting people most excited. Property Valuation Plus, Plus One, Growing Family, uh, Homes Sold Near You, and Empty Nesters. And these are all obviously targeted to get various types of people who are thinking of a real estate transaction. So of all these pages, you should really be using a handful of them. You decide which ones you want to use. But the one I want you to start with first is this one right here. It's Property Valuation Plus. It's on the top right, okay? I would want you all to use this and we're gonna dive into it. 
I will explain what these others are. There are four property valuation ones here. This property valuation page asks for the address, and then on the second page, it asks for the contact information. And at that point, it, the page says thank you, and the consumer gets an auto response, and you get a lead with the information that they gave you. Property valuation one does the same thing, except it asks for the email right up front. Not that effective in generating leads because many people don't want to give you an email address without anything, right? And then Property Valuation Plus has a built-in valuation that comes through. Property Valuation Plus One has the same built-in valuation, but it asks for the email address up front, so not many people want to fill it out. So let's go through this one, Property Valuation Plus, and let's talk about how we get it going, okay? You can see here I've got a bunch, right? And you may not have any, and so I want to go here to the uh, landing page dashboard, and we're going to start just like you are starting, which is from zero, right? You don't have anything in here. Now, I don't remember, I, I know you're, you're, you're kind of in Jacksonville, I think, but I'm going to guess you also probably raise business in a couple of areas, but let's just sort of focus on Jacksonville. Over here on the left, it says type in a farm area. I'm going to type in Jacksonville, okay? And you would want to create, you'd want to do this for every town you're trying to build your business in. Then click save. Okay. Now when I click save, um, it's going to take a second because it's going to create a landing page under every one of these buttons. Okay. So now I have a FISBO landing page uh, for Jacksonville. Let's go down to it and see if I can find it. I need to clean some of these up. Oh, okay. It's right here. I have too many pages starting to get kind of messy here. But this is kind of what it looks like. You choose the background color, it becomes a default. It will have your banner at the top, and then it says, hey, just because you're selling your home yourself doesn't mean your marketing has to suffer. What free tools would you like? Click here, click next. The next page is give me your address, and the next page is give me your contact information. Getting in front of a FISBO is a great way to get a listing because I think on average a, a FISBO hands the listing to an agent within two months in the US. So that's kind of a cool tool, tool to have. Um, but like I said, we're going to focus on the property valuation plus on the top right. Okay. So if I click that button, I can go all the way down and there is my Jacksonville button. And let's click over here. It says see landing page. I'll take a sip of water. And this is what the landing page looks like. Now, first of all, Never use a landing page with that background picture. That's just too generic unless that looks just like Jacksonville. I don't think it does. Um, but this is how it works. I'm going to type in my address. 1595 Huston Road. Lines in Lafayette, though, California. And click Go. This page works anywhere in the country. Okay. And at this point, we bring you to page two. The consumer would be here. And we might see it, you might see that I'm gonna get an email from listings to leads, which is gonna be a lead. It's gonna say, we got a partial lead right here. And what that means is I've at least got an address. So I know somebody is interested and that somebody probably lives in that house where the little arrow is, okay? And that's interesting. Usually it says, it gives you the information of what's, uh, you know, is it a 3-2 or what is it, excellent condition. And then say, great and click here to confirm the information. And at this point it says, we have your valuation, but we need your contact information to give it to you. Okay, and then they choose why, and then you click this button, and we will see here in just a second that the consumer is now looking, and there's some kind of error, that's really crazy, I do this all the time. There should basically be the numbers for the home right here high and low. Um, and I think there's something wrong with the API. I got to get that fixed when we get off. But you'll see here again, I got another lead and that lead is saying, hey, here's the contact information. Your information is down below. Um, and then their information that they're, they want is here. You also get copied on the numbers. Okay. And that means that the numbers that they're looking at, you would have in your email. And what you should really do is just reach out to them. Call them or email and say, hey, I, I saw that you got that, that quote. 
Does that seem right to you? Does that seem high or low? Uh, have you done any you know, additions or remodels, things like that? Just get the dialogue going. Um, that really is the page. That's it. That's how it works. I'm going to show you how it's integrated with a, with a newsletter, but I'm going to show you right now what to do with it in order to get it out on, uh, to, to start using it. So the first thing is this background picture, okay? And you want to you want to make sure that you've got something that's local. And I'm gonna. Um, some people like to put houses, and some people like to put. Um, I I like to put something like a downtown area, right? Um, or I don't know if it if it's downtown, but something that's like a landmark. So I don't know Jacksonville that well, but this is how you do it. So we'll kind of. Um, I've typed in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I'm going to click on images on Google. And that's going to show me all kinds of images of the area. Okay. And the next thing you want to do, and you do want to follow these steps because this is, these are basic things here that you have to do. Um, I think settings, what on earth? Tools, sorry. Tools, click size, go down to larger than 4MP. What this is doing is showing us images that are large enough to cover that whole, a whole, a whole screen, right? Now, if you want, you can also say, hey, I want to have something labeled for reuse, meaning you won't run into any copyright stuff. I, I'm just going to go right here and we're going to use this. Um, and you click on any photo you want. And then over here is a button that says view image. Click that. And this shows you the image. And then you right click save the image, right? And I'm going to call that one Windermere, replace that, and then go back to listings to leads. And where I saw where we were clicking on see landing page, click on edit landing page. And when we click on edit landing page, go down to the section that says, uh, give me a second, went too fast. My mouse is really jumpy today. Uh, Upload, upload the background image. So click that. You will see our Windermere picture there. And scroll down to the bottom. And save an update. And just as a, you know, kind of a, a note about listing leads, when you save something, you can refresh it immediately and the the, the, the change will have taken place. You don't have to, you're not waiting an hour or two hours uh, in that regard to do that. So here we've got a page that kind of looks like something out of Jacksonville, right? And I'm, I'm just sort of winging it here. So this may not exactly be, this may not be recognizable to you. But I want to point out something because I, I, I set up the offices around the country um, and I do this call for a, a lot of people to teach them how to use Facebook. And, and I did, uh, I set up an office in Summit, New Jersey, and the, and the owner, the manager called me a few months later and said, hey, that call was great. We're all like generating leads. But the craziest thing is this picture right here is getting the most clicks and the most leads for us. And it's kind of not what realtors would think of, right? This is the local diner. It's on Main Street. It's one of those railroad cars converted into, you know, a, a diner. And, but the thing is, is everybody in that town knows this place. And that is sort of signaling to the consumers on Facebook that, hey, this is a local person. This is not like some national spam campaign I'm signing up for. And that's what I want you to think of when you're picking this photograph. I didn't, you know, I don't know Jacksonville that well. So we're just I'm showing you as an example. But this is what that you could almost run with this. There's one more change I like to make. And I'll show you where. Uh, there's a section here that says landing page text customization. Okay. And the second line, I always like to type, get your answer in less than 15 seconds. Okay. And where that is, is right here it says get your answer here. I don't know if you can see that underneath. Uh, the thing of getting, you know, the whole point is getting your answer in less than 15 seconds. What, what we're really after here is, is we're trying to get somebody's contact information 
And I know, and you know, that when you're faced with something online where you have to give up your contact information, you're going to walk away, right? Um, many people do. But about 20% of people don't. And they actually, if it's something they're really after, they will fill that out. So getting them to fill it out, it's, that's really the hard part of it, right? And I've changed it to get your answer in less than 15 seconds because people are, you know, we're all ADD today. Everybody wants their answer right now, right? I'm on Facebook, I'm looking, you've given me some idea that I can get my home value now, and boom, I'm here, I can get in 15 seconds, great. So this is it, this is all we need. We're ready to roll, we're ready to put this on a postcard, we're ready to put this in a newsletter, and we are definitely ready to put it on Facebook. So let's do that. First of all, copy the hyperlink. It's up at, at the top. Searchallproperties.com, that's the URL. Just copy it. Over here, go to uh, Facebook, and there's a little arrow. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a navigation bar up here. There's a, there's a triangle pointing down. Click that, opens a menu, click Create Ads. And this is actually the Facebook Ad Manager, right? So if you haven't run an ad before, it may be a little bit spooky, but it's 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 a really good uh, skill to learn. Uh, this little message here, you probably won't get. I have an ad blocker on my computer, on my browser, so I don't have to see ads all the time. And when you get there, it should look like this. There should be three columns. And what you're after says, send people to destination on or off Facebook. Click that. Now here it says campaign name. And... You want to write campaign names because, first of all, you don't want to do this once or twice and think it's going to just change the direction of your business because it probably won't. Um, you do want to do this consistently, and I'm going to speak to that in a little bit after we've run a couple of ads. So, since this is a home value ad, call it value, Jackson, and whatever the date is, right? December 2nd, right? That way, later on, you know, like, what's working maybe it's you're starting to analyze your work after the fact and right here is really where the money is um and what i mean by that is this is the power of facebook advertising is really on this page right here i can type in here a, a section an area like jacksonville north carolina and you can see there's a map and it's, it's punching me out 25 miles because that page only says Jacksonville, I only wanted to go to people who are currently there, who live there, sorry, who live in Jacksonville. I don't want 18 year olds to see it, so I'll just put them in on the 24. And here's the, here's the deal of that. Here's what we're looking at. And what I want you to understand. If you're on Facebook today and you have uh, friends on Facebook or you don't have friends on Facebook, people like and stuff like that, right? This does not matter. If you have a business page and there are 100 or 200 people that like it, this does not matter. What this is doing right here is saying, if somebody has an account on Facebook and they live in Jacksonville, they are gonna be a potential target to see this ad, okay? So it doesn't mean like, oh, I have a lot of people or I only like my friends on there or whatever kind of nonsense. It just means they're on Facebook and they're in the zone where you're targeting. That's why this is so powerful, because you're able to target people for just a couple bucks. Now down here is a detailed, gets detailed targeting, even more stuff, right? And you can target if you want. I recommend that, I don't typically recommend that you use this, but one thing that you might want to think about is you can, t you can type in homeowners, right? Um, and that's obviously kind of interesting to do. I wouldn't do it in the beginning because I don't know where they get that data set. Uh, I don't know where they get that information. And so I don't typically use it, but after you get good at this, you may want to test that out. The next section to think of is placements. And this is important because we want to edit placements, especially when we're running a home valuation ad, okay? And the first thing to do is it says all devices, make it desktop only. Okay, now this page is mobile optimized. It will work on a phone, but people don't like filling it out on phones. And we, we, we can see this over and over because on our mastermind group, people say, oh, I ran an ad and I got a hundred clicks. 
and nobody filled it out. And then we go look at it. They ran it on mobile. People were clicking on mobile and they want an instant answer, but they really don't want to sit there and go through three pages of filling something out on a phone, right? Um, I don't know if you're doing that a lot, but I know I'm, I, I live on my smartphone. I don't fill out multiple page stuff. So leave it on desktop. And that means they have to be sitting in front of a computer just like I am right now to see that ad, all right? Now here's where another piece, this is a really important piece, is the budget. Change the daily budget to lifetime budget. Don't panic, they're not gonna charge you for the rest of your life. And just change it to 30 bucks. Now when I change it to 30 bucks, I'm gonna get a little red message because it's saying, hey, the minimum is five bucks a day. And that's because they start it and end it they, they, they end it 30 days out. When you're running a seller valuation ad, you always want to start it on Friday and you always want to end it, bring it back a month, on Monday. And when you do that, that's just fine. That's about 10 bucks a day, okay? And so now the red mark has gone away and that's really, that's good. So I don't know if you could see as I'm like making changes, this little yellow bar over here kind of moves back and forth. And what this says is that the potential reach of this ad is about 400 to 7 to 10,000. So probably around 700 people a day will see this. So for 30 bucks, just a little over 2,000 people will see this ad, okay? And some, some portion of those people are going to click the ad, all right? I heard somebody chime in. Was there a question? All right, I'm gonna click continue. And this is where we create what the ad looks like, okay? If it defaults to single image, go ahead and leave that alone. But down here it says page and links. Choose your right business page, all right? I've got a couple, one for music, one for healthy eating, and but this is my, my real estate business page. The next thing it says down here, destination website URL. What is that? This is the destination website URL. We copied it earlier, but I'm gonna copy it again. Paste it in here, right click, and then click the blue bar that pops up. And I don't know if you can see, there's some wheels spinning on the page here. And it starts, you know, Facebook starts to do its thing and, and I'll explain to you what's gonna happen here and what to, uh, what to think of. So this is actually showing on the right hand side what that ad is going to look like to consumers. Notice here it's sponsored by listings to leads. For you, it's going to say sponsored by you, the realtor. Okay. And yeah, you can click over here and like the page, but then it says find out your home value uh, now, right? In Jacksonville home now, Jacksonville home values. And there's the picture. So remember on the previous page, I said there's a reach about 700 people a day. So around 2000 people over the weekend are going to see this. Okay, they're just gonna see it. They're gonna scroll through and they're gonna see it. But the important factor is not really the reach so much, it's how many people click on it, right? How many people click on this ad? Because when they click on it, then the next question is, well, are you gonna fill it out, right? So there are two things that impact whether somebody is gonna click on it. Number one is that background picture. I just showed you how to customize yours. so you know, use that. And the next thing is this language. Find out the, the value of your Jacksonville home now. It's pretty weak. It's just stuff that Scott and I wrote because that's the point of it. But you should really take some better concept and put it there. And I'll, I'll give you one right here. And to change this language here, you change it right here. It says text. So I'm going to just wipe that out and say click here to get your online automated home value in less than 15 seconds. I don't know if you remember I said that earlier. Um, so there's a couple things in this ad, that, that language that I just wrote, which th this line works for people across the country. Why? It's automated and online, meaning I don't have to talk to you, right? I know you're all awesome people, but really people don't want to talk to us all the time. They don't want to talk to me because they think I'm going to give them a sales you know, trip. So same thing for you. 
So if you say, hey, I can get it online automatically in less than 15 seconds for free, I'm, go I'm going, right? I'm gonna click that. So that's one thing to do. The other, I showed you before we logged in, right? I'm gonna go back to listings to leads, the homepage. And I said, hey, before you log in, if you just scroll down, we have a blog, right? And it says 31 seller leads in two days. And I said, this language is really, really good. And our clients, this guy shared it in our mastermind group and our clients have been using it and saying, hey, we're getting great leads from that too. So what did he do? 360 homes sold in Frisco. So again, you could change that right here and say, you know, 400 homes sold in Jacksonville. And, you know, here was a high, get yours free now, right? Just, just copy the language that's on that blog post. Um, whatever I type here goes on up here. You can change this here. Notice it says Jacksonville home values here. You could also change that by, you know, uh, anything you change here will flow in there. And that's it. Make those changes, click place order. Facebook will send you a message that says, we're gonna review this for 15 minutes and then we'll, we'll launch it. So what's gonna happen at the end of that ad is Facebook will send you another message that says, congratulations, your ad has succeeded. And here's what you got. And they're gonna tell you, you got a reach of 2,000 people, whatever the reach is. And then it's gonna say website clicks. And what website clicks is, is that people clicked on this ad and got to the landing page, right? Anywhere from 50 to 100 clicks is really where people want to land. Obviously, 100 is better. Um, one factor in getting to 100 clicks, though, is how much money you actually put in the ad. And remember, I put in $30. And that they do some math. You know, It is a pay-per-click, so they're probably charging you 50, 75 cents a click. So you can sort of see where the max is and the number of clicks you're going to get based on how much money you put in there. A lot of our clients put $60 over the weekend. Some of our clients put in $5 a day for this kind of ad. They don't get as many clicks, right? Because it's just five bucks. But you're welcome to, you know, the minimum ad spend for uh, on a daily basis on Facebook is $5 a day. I typically recommend that you're, you're putting in more because you really want the clicks. Because when people click, they can fill out that lead capture form and you get leads. So uh, that is all you do to run an ad, okay? I am now going to go uh, out of this place and we're going to kind of restart, okay? And, you know, what we did here is we ran a property valuation app, okay? And I think I mentioned to you, there are a number of companies that have this, right? And this is a really exciting thing to do, but not, and they don't all get the same results that we do. And part of it is the way that we've written our pages. And the other part is that we kind of understand what's happening on Facebook. And if our clients take the further step of building their brand on Facebook in the same way, then they get better results continually over and over. They just get better results. So to build the brand, I'm going to kind of repeat myself here. Um, go to the listings page and use one of the tools, right? So I could say, maybe you can't do coming soon. I'm just going to do uh, this home here. I'm going to use a single property website. If you recall, I said either use a single property website or use a listing landing page here. But I'm going to use a single property website. And this is my home. It's for sale. Um, you'll notice over here that the status on the left, there's like these red acronyms. Coming soon. Under contract. Just listed. Okay. Up here, just sold. You can control the status by clicking the edit button right here, the blue one with the wrench and the screwdriver, and changing it to wherever, whatever status it is. So that's kind of the point there. Because you want to tell people in the market, right? You, you want everybody in your farm markets to know that you have homes coming soon, to home that you have uh, to know that you have a home just listed and of course that you just sold something because that's important to people who own homes to know that you know how to sell a home right so this is a great tool to get out in front of them because your contact information is there there's a bunch of links they can find out what their home is worth they can drive right into your website from these links and of course they can follow this home so let's copy this link and let's put it on facebook 
I will move a little bit faster this time, but I am going to point out the differences, okay? And you will have this recorded, so don't get too confused. Click the triangle pointing down. Click on Create Ads. That's my old buddy, Aaron. And uh, let's see here. It's going to do its thing. You shouldn't see this because you won't have an ad blocker, but we got I got to start a new ad because I didn't finish it. So here's the same thing. We start in the same place, send people to the destination. We want to give it a campaign name. Nobody's going to see it. I'm going to say uh, just listed. And Jacksonville, uh, December 2, right? And go there. And then here's where we kind of do that same thing. Remember where we typed in Jacksonville? But there's a difference right here. I don't know if you remember what I did last time. This time, when it says Jacksonville plus 25 miles, I'm going to leave that. Because I want people who live 10, 5, 10, 15 miles, 20 miles away to know that I'm a realtor, right? So I'm going to leave that radius out there. You can change it if you want to make it to 20 or to 10 or, you know, I'm just going to change it to 10 just so you can see how that works, right? I probably don't want 18 year olds looking at it. And at that point, I would leave that alone. That's all I would do. Now here, I'm going to click on edit placements just to show you the difference. I actually don't want you to change anything. I want this to go on, on mobile now. Many, many, many people, the majority of Facebook users, use Facebook on their phones, right? I don't know, probably some of you are on this call right now, listening to me yammer on and looking at pictures of your friends, cats and dogs and, and family, right? That's what Facebook is about. So when you're building a brand and you want people to know that you are a realtor, definitely use mobile and desktop, right? People are standing in line at Starbucks, right? They're waiting for the light to change and they're looking at Facebook. And they're going to go, oh, this person has an open house. This person just sold. This person has a home just listed. And that's a point. Where is the difference? The daily budget, change it to lifetime. But this time, I'm only going to make it 20 bucks. Okay? And, and that's because I want to run my ad just for four days. Now, you can run an ad at any time of the week. When you're running the property valuation ads, um, you might want to run it on the weekend like I just suggested. But when you're running this kind of ad, you're definitely, um, you, you don't need, you can run it on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. For instance, if you're doing an open house ad, uh, you definitely would want to make that happen on, uh, on maybe a Wednesday, something like that. One thing I forgot to mention, I skipped down here. You can also control if you want it to go to Instagram or not. I use Instagram. Um, I'm not really 100% sure on the on how that's going to work. So I turn off Audience Network and Instagram when running these ads. Just one on Facebook. Okay, because I know the lead capture works on Facebook. I don't know if the lead capture works on, on Instagram. Then from here, you'll see that our daily reach, because we're only spending 20 bucks, 5 bucks a day, our reach is going to be about 500 people a day, right? But I got it running for four days. So 2,000 people are going to see that I'm a realtor for 20 bucks. They're going to see I have an open house. They're going to see I have a home just listed or for sale or, or just sold, right? So let's click continue. And let's let this page get to where it needs to be. Yeah, so we're going to leave it single image. We want to make sure it's on our right business page. And we want to paste. Okay, just like that. And this is kind of the same. And for some reason, I don't know why it's looking like that. Another air today. That's lovely. Let me see if I can change that. Nope. Well, wow. oh, that's ridiculous. Sorry, guys. I don't know why that's happening. Let's let's point out. Let me point out what it should look like. It should not say listings to leads. It should say you, the realtor. Now remember, 2,000 people are going to see that, and that's part of the branding. There should also be a big uh, picture of the home right here. 
not of the eFlyer. Um, and so here it says up-to-date photos, stuff like that. I would change that. There's something, you know, there's something unique about this house, right? I don't know if, it, if it's in a great neighborhood um, or, or it's, you know, it, it's an executive home or whatever, right? It, it's a school. Um, but whatever you write here is going to be compelling enough to get people to click it or not, right? If you just leave the default language, it won't be. But there will be a big picture of the house and there'll be that for sale thing going on. Um, and that's really what you do. And then you push it, right? Because we're only then place order. Because we are only putting in 20 bucks, we're really trying to build the brand, okay? And then you, on the weekends, you put in more money on the ad because you're really trying to get the clicks, okay? So, and here's where you got to think of what's my monthly budget going to be with Facebook? And you can adjust it to meet your business needs. But this is where I think it really pays off. Our clients typically run at least one ad for 20 bucks every week to let consumers know, hey, I got an open house. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. That's just like we're doing right here. On the weekends, if you can every weekend, if not you know, every weekend or one weekend a month, run an ad for 30 to 60 bucks for three days and see your, see your leads come in and the longer you're running these branding ads, let's just sort of imagine that for two months, and I know this conversation because I've had it with agents who call me and say, yeah, Vince, we're doing exactly what you said. And, and our quality of our seller leads is increasing, meaning I'm getting more phone numbers and people are saying, hey, this is really what I'm looking for. And the, uh, the, the, the volume of seller leads increases. So the longer you're investing with a couple bucks, like 20 bucks, you know, uh, a week, the more comfortable people get with you on Facebook. And since people are on Facebook so much, it is a great place to really build a brand and to get leads from, okay? Um, I will point out, and, and, and Barbie, let me know right now if there are any questions on what we covered, because that's really the bulk of the Facebook story run branding ads, and run seller lead generation ads. The thing that I want to go into at a high level is these are all the tools that are automatically generated and sent to you. We've looked at a couple, but you know, a single property website, virtual tour. Uh, if you've got you, a YouTube channel for your office or for yourself, you can associate it on your profile and we'll auto upload every one of your um, listings to YouTube. As you saw earlier, it's the number two website in the country. It does have great SEO. When your client does a search for your for their home address, trying to check up on your marketing, often YouTube is the number, it's on page one of Google, almost every time, right? Uh, we give you a series of e-flyers from just listed to open house and price reduced and under contract and just sold. And we give you Facebook ads for the same thing. The listing landing page I showed you, um, we actually email that to you automatically and you can use that on Facebook, things like that. We got a lot of blog tools if you're blog, blogging, and we have um, a way to get to Craigslist right here. So we'll get we'll dive into that on the next call. I don't want to go too far because we have covered a lot already today. But one thing I forgot to mention that I want to kind of make sure we don't forget: when we created our Jacksonville page, we can now come back to it later on, right? And we can see there's our Jacksonville page and we can see landing page and go, yeah, this is it. You can, don't, you can totally use this on, um, on Google, pay-per-click too. You could just put this out, uh, copy it and paste it out over on LinkedIn, right? And just say, hey, everybody, I got a free tool. If you're interested in finding your home value, fill, fill this out, right? But one thing, and I showed you, if we click edit on this landing page, Remember, I, 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 at that, there was that blog post and I said, hey, this guy had 3,000 you know, email addresses and he blasted it out and he got like a dozen people wanting to sell their home. He got that letter by going to the agent page, or to, to the edit page for, for, for this section. And there are some green buttons and one says view email and one says view letter. Let's click view email. And this is that letter I mentioned, right? And so it's got your logo, I should have written something here about Jacksonville, what's going on in the market today. 
and then I could have my Zillow reviews and my home value. When I click on my home value, it's pushing right to this page, okay? So if you've got any kind of tool where you've got a bunch of emails, even maybe if it's in your, your um, Gmail, right? Maybe it's not as powerful as Constant Contact or MailChimp or you know, top producer kind of you know, email blast systems. Maybe you just have a stack of people and a group on, on Outlook. Just copy the information from our edit page. Let me see if I can get back there. We clicked on the button that says view email. You can just copy the HTML if you've got something robust like constant contact, or you can just send the email and it will go to you. I just sent it to myself and it says it sent it to me. So I'm gonna get an email of that letter, right? And then I can just forward it to everybody that's on my distribution lists who I know owns a home in Jacksonville, all right? And that's great because it's already integrated with my property valuation page for Jacksonville. So like I said, you can create that for a couple of different, you, you're probably building your business in a few, few areas, right? Um, I got the email here in my, in my Gmail. Um, so you wanna create a landing page for all the towns that you're trying to grow your business in. And know that you can target them with Facebook. You can target them by zip code if you want it on Facebook. And you can certainly target it by town. And you can then um, target it this way via email. And you can even print this out and do a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, a mail, right? Send it off to the post office. And that's kind of a good, you know, when you're thinking about marketing, and you're really thinking about getting leads out of this, right? And getting business out of it. Um, you want to approach the same people multiple ways. That's just building your brand. They get comfortable with you. They're going to fill out a form somewhere. This is an email. So we can see here, this is what the email looks like. I could forward it to you right now, but click on any link and it takes me right out of the email into my lead capture page. So while we're waiting for that to be, um, Barbie, are there any questions? I don't have any. I know everybody's at their own uh, computer, so if they have any, they can put it, what, in chat or unmute? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely willing. Yeah, I'll, I'll hang out here. If there are any questions now, this is a good time to, to, uh, to give them to me. Otherwise, I'm going to put this video up on YouTube today, and I will send it to you, Barbie, um, and then you can all have this as a resource. Um, Perfect. And then if we can schedule another call, I would like to get into... The basics, you know, how you use the core marketing tools when you have listings. We've got a lot of cool stuff. Okay. There. So I'd like to schedule another hour when we can. Um, okay. So I don't see any questions coming in. So with that, okay. let's just wrap it up, and I will put this up online and get it out to you today, Barbara. Thanks so much. All right. Sorry for being late today. Um, but yeah. thanks everybody for your time. Not a problem. Have a good one. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.